key locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly doorbuster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Jessup Premium Storage, 1455 South 1st Street is Jessup's best place to store your valuables. Whether it's furniture between moves or just a place for the overload, call Jessup Premium Storage at 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage units are indoors, climate-controlled, and they have 24-hour surveillance and on-site management. You have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week access to your unit. Sizes range from 5 by 5 to 10 by 25. They also have outside covered and uncovered spaces available for vehicles, boats, trailers, and RVs. Jessup Premium Storage on the Waycross Highway in Jessup. An exceptional car buying experience is closer than you think. Mike Burke's Ford and Blackshear has the best prices, service, and selection. Why go anywhere else? At Mike Birch, you don't have to haggle, and you'll get top dollar for your trade. Our finance team's ready to help, even when others can't. No matter where you are, buying a new car has never been easier than at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear and at MikeBirchFord.com. Right on the corner, right on the price. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. At Bronter's Landfill, keeping our community safe is the most important thing we do. Our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.bronterslandfill.com, or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. Well, good morning to you. It's uh, four minutes after eight o'clock. You're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO FM in Jessa, 105.5 on your FM dial. Butch Hubbard here with you. Halfway through the month, the 15th day of November. It is a Wednesday morning. We got several guests here on the world famous Butch and Bob show, but we're going to start with our first set of guests this morning. Bob, Bob, who do we got this morning? Who's in here with us? Christmas parade. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas parade is in with us. The, the Christmas parade, and uh, uh, who wants to start first? Joey, I'll, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll start. Hi, I'm Joey with Joey Smile Photography. I just want to uh, let everybody know that we're here to talk about <clears throat> the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce annual Christmas parade. And this year we have it presented by uh, somebody you might know, Kitchen Tuna. Yes, Kitchen Tuna up with Matt Hubbard and Lynn down there. Yes, yep. and uh, this could be Saturday, December the 2nd. At, um, the parade lineup starts at 5.30 and the parade starts at 7 o'clock. And this year the theme is a storybook Christmas. Okay, storybook Christmas. And right. Cindy, I'm going to let Cindy go. Cindy, go ahead. Hey, I am Cindy Hughes with SunTrust Bank. And our sponsors are, as Joey said, presenting sponsor, Kitchen Tuna. Uh, our uh, gold sponsor is Wayne County Industrial Development Authority and Rainier Advanced Materials. Our main stage sponsor is the Connor Law Group. Our first street stage sponsor is Jones Medical Equipment. Our silver sponsors are Camores and Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. And our bronze sponsors are All Seasons Music, Boykin Steel and Crane, Harris Ace Hardware, Murphy's Builder Supply, Nine Run Farms, Wayne County Recreation and Lewis Septic Services. Okay, got the sponsors there. You know, people just don't realize how important these uh, sponsors are to put on these events. You know, they, um, they, they put the upfront money to get everything going. They help cover a lot of the cost uh, to make these events possible because there's a lot of a lot of time and expense go in putting on parades and other events that the uh, chamber does. And it is it is a community event that that, that the chamber does uh, for all the community. Um, one thing we want to do uh, recognize is that November the 17th is the early bird entry rate, and we need to get those uh, entries in. Uh, the rate for members is $35. For non-members is 45 So that's going to go up November the 18th for $50 for members and $60 for non-members. So we need to get those entries in. Okay, um, so the 17th this Friday is when the early birds so from 35 to 50 for members, right? right. And then what's the other price? 45 to 60. 60 for non-members for the Wayne County Christmas Parade. Right. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Right. The deadline is November the 29th. We can, we've got to get them in by November the 29th because there's a mandatory safety meeting held uh, Thursday at 5 o'clock on November 30th at Kitchen Tune-Up Showroom. Okay, so uh, November 29th, uh, the, the final cutoff date there, and you'll have that emergency meeting, uh, well, it's a important meeting about lineup and things of that sort on the 30th, 
and then the parade that Saturday the 2nd. That's right. Right. And so a couple of ways the entry forms are available um, either online at the Chamber website, waynechamber.com slash event calendar, or you can pick up a copy at the Chamber office at 261 West Plum Street. Okay. Um, a couple of, there's a change for this year. There is going to be no pre-parade um, entertainment, but there are a lot of other events going on we're really excited about. There's going to be a Run for Purpose 5K that starts at 8 a.m. There's going to be a Farmer's Market annual. Now, the, 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 the run will be a 5K run, I understand, and it'll be right. in a one-mile fun walk, and it'll begin at the... Um, at the fountain next to the train depot, everybody gets together around 8 o'clock, right? right? Correct. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And That's then, Saturday morning, November, uh, December 2nd. All right. right, right. And then um, at the Farmer's Market, the annual Christmas Bazaar from 10 to 3. Uh, Pictures with Santa on Cherry Street from 5 to 6.15. The Remax Hot Air Balloon at Piggly Wiggly Shopping Center between 5.30 and 6.30. That's going to be fun. It is going to be yeah, fun. I'm hoping that the wind will not right. be that day so you <laughs> right. can... You know, get in it, and then you'll go up, um, you know, a couple, about 100 feet or so forth, and they'll have you tied to a tether there, and um, hopefully, and then you'll come back down. Right. Right. Okay. And we encourage everyone to shop and uh, dine downtown in uh, downtown Jessup before the parade begins. Uh, you did mention the fact that, that the um, uh, Santa Claus will be in downtown Jessup on Saturday, uh, December 2nd, and they're going to be down inside of a... A building there just to the left of uh, Mary's Bouquet. Right. And what time does Santa begin? Santa is uh, 5 to 6.15. 5 to 6.15 there. Uh, just look at Mary's Bouquet, look to the left, and you'll see all the storefronts set up there with Santa inside. Well, there should be a long line. Should be a long line. <laughs> should be a long line. Yeah, yeah. Joey will be first in line. Okay? Uh, <laughs> right. And as far as the parade route is concerned, it's going to be printed in the Saturday edition of the Press Sentinel uh, on December 2nd at uh, Cherry Street to First Street, and then the parade will end on Tai Tai Street. Okay. And, of course, they'll have that paper out late Friday afternoon, early evening that you can get or first thing Saturday morning, uh, so you can see where the um, lineup, where you are in the lineup. Right. And I, now I've got something very good news. You know, we got judges, now, of course, and the judges are going to be there judging during the parade and everything. We've got. Um, I'm going to tell you something real special. We got the Miss Claus Award, which is the best use of the theme, Storybook Christmas. We got the Rudolph Award, which is the best of lights. Makes sense. The Elf Award is most creative originality. And we got a Frosty, most entertaining. But, but this year we got the Santa Award for best overall, and they get a $500 cash prize. Okay, and when you say best overall, it could be anything from a four-wheeler to a big float. Doesn't I, matter. I, it's just the best overall. Okay. And so the judges are going to be looking for someone that's got the best theme, the best lights, the most creative. It's just all combined in there, the best overall uh, entry. In okay. All right. Uh, but, uh, not only with the cash prize, they get a quarter-page color ad in Wayne County Magazine, Summer Edition, 2018, which will include the photography and design. They get recognition and the photo in the Press Sentinel Chamber of Business News, Chamber Marquee, and a 10 30 second ads on WIFO. I don't know if you've heard of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great radio station. Yeah, well, it was a them every morning. It's, it, it's a world famous. One, world, yeah. world famous. And yeah. who, who wins that again? The Santa Award. The Santa Award. Best overall. And the judging, like I said, will be during the parade. And the awards will be announced the next week Week via radio. WIFO mm -hmm. and the newspaper, and we have out-of-town judges coming in, so they don't know anybody. Okay, and of course, the big thing on there they're excited about is that five hundred dollar in cash. Uh, five hundred dollars for the best overall winner in the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade, coming into downtown just up first Saturday as usual in December, December second. Parade begins at seven, y'all. Seven o'clock. Right. It, uh, it is the premier event in Wayne County. It is. I, I, I guess, Bob, haven't we estimated, or they've said before, that around 5,000 people line up along Cherry, Broad Street, First Street. And uh, I believe it goes, um, like last year, it's going to go all the way down to Tai Tai Street uh, to give folks a longer area to be able to, um, to watch the parade. 
plus it makes uh, the exiting of the parade by the entries um, so much better than it right. used to be on Orange Street. It is a premier event in Wayne County, and it does draw thousands of people um, to downtown Jessup, so it's a perfect opportunity um, to reach families, children, and individuals that you do business with. It only happens once a year, we know that. Where else can you advertise your business and give back to the community for a contribution of only $35? 35 dollars 35 smacks. That's for exactly right. What size of uh, 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 entry you have in it, from a float to a bicycle, is still 35 bucks. That's correct. That's right. Okay. So we encourage businesses, churches, school clubs, social groups, nonprofits, any organization that wants to enter the float to get in touch with the chamber. Okay. And the um, deadline for the early entry is this Friday. After that, it goes from 35 to 50 for members, and then for non-members, it's um, um, 45, 45 to 60. Yes. Okay. Well, I do want to mention our marshals uh, and our award winners. We do have a, the 2016 Grand Marshal uh, will be Sybil Lynn, who had got, got the Distinguished Service Award. Uh, then we got Hallie Graham, who was the Ambassador of the Year. Uh, Sean O'Quinn, which was the Small Business of the Year. Ralph Hickox is the Business Leader of the Year. Okay. So they'll all be riding in the parade, and we have a long list of committee members, and uh, I mean, we a lot of people have been working hard. Yeah, a lot of folks have been working real hard putting this parade yeah. together. Uh, I've been involved with it before many years ago, and it's just a lot of work to put on this parade. I do want to give a shout out to Hallie Graham, who is the chair. Yep, yep. Hallie's been on here several times. She's the chair, and uh, she's been doing a great job of keeping her committee organized and on track. And all the businesses that allow all the other members. To go. I know, you know, we got a whole list. Uh, if I got time, I can say it. Justin Franks from Satilla. Go right ahead. Amanda Hanna from the Wayne County Clerk's Office. Don Zamuda from Cafe Euro. Matt Hubbard from Sears Hometown Store with Kitchen Tune Up. Micah Kicklider from the Jessup Downtown Development Authority. Sharon Corson, Wayne County Emergency Management. Joey Darley from Joy Smiles Photography. Donnie Ray from the Wayne County Emergency. Uh, Chad Swanson, Coastal Pine Technical College, Mark Watson, Jessup Housing Authority, Mary Caitlin Williams, Best Kept Secret, me, Cindy Hughes from SunTrust Bank, Cassie Robertson at uh, Willhurst Agency, Austin Brake at Jones Medical, Cora Wechek, uh, John Benner, Wayne County Service Center, Mickey Tomberlin, House of uh, Worship and Ministries, and Becky Anderson, Solid Rock Christian Academy. Thank you to all you volunteers. Absolutely. And all the time and effort that they Bob. It's Michael Weathers who got married. It's not Kick Larry anymore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Michael Weathers. See, someone left, someone didn't write that on there, so it is Michael Weathers. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Michael Kick Lighter of Weathers. <laughs> right. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. This year, the parade is going to be broadcast on WTOC on December 10th at 5 p.m. and on the 23rd at noon. Okay, so TOC will be here with the cameras and then rebroadcast it on the 10th, you said? Exactly. And five. on the 20... 23rd at 23rd. noon. Okay. Right. Uh, all right. I mean, that's so, another bonus for your $35 entry fee, so get that entry fee in by Friday. Okay. I want to write that down just in case somebody uh, calls on that. So that's going to be December 10th at what time again? Five. December 10th at 5. At 5 p.m. it'll be rebroadcast. And then on December 20... 23rd at noon. At 12 noon. And that's on WTOC. They'll be here broadcasting. And, of course, we'll be broadcasting the parade right here on WIFO 105.5 FM. And uh, what we've been doing the last few years has been plugging into the sound system there, the main stage. Uh, in downtown Jessup, so you don't get to hear me talk all the time. You get to hear the uh, MCs on the stage uh, talk about the entries that they come by, and who are our um, uh, our uh, MCs for the main stage. And then I want to put a plug, Bob, for the uh, app you have, Big Dog Country, because you can actually don't have to be near the stage if you don't have to. You can actually listen to you speak uh, on Big Dog Country on the apps. Yeah, phones. you can do it on 105.5 FM. You can listen to it, or you can listen to it around the world on BigDogCountry.com. If you're downtown and you got your smartphone, just download our free app. Go to your favorite app store, type in Big Dog, W-I-F-O, follow the instructions. The Big Dog logo will come up, and you'll be able to hear the parade on that. Also, as you do our morning show, um, 
Wake County football, softball, baseball, and then we're not doing all that. We stream our AM station, Fox Sports Radio 1370 AM, the buzz down, our free app. All right. You got your own Joey Smiles Yeti cooler type thing there. Yes. That looks, that looks sharp. Thank you. That was, I have to give a shout out to them. That's uh, Chuck and Janet Harder made that for me. They did? Yes. Well, good. good. Or yeah. tire. Chuck and Janet Tire. She tire. Be a harder. Janet Harder. Okay. Don't get these married names. We got to get the married names. I, I, I got married names. Janet and Chuck Tire. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cindy Houston here this morning along with uh, Joey Darley with the Wayne County Christmas Parade. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade coming up on December 2nd. Starts at 7 p.m. in downtown Jessup. Glad that y'all came in this morning. Thank you for Will we have y'all? I think next week. One more time before yeah. the parade, right? Yeah, one more to get those deadline entries, talking about them, and, and hopefully have a whole bunch of entries this year. Okay, thanks for coming in. All right, All right have a good day. Now, we've got more guests coming up on the world-famous Butch and Bob show and some giveaways, so stay tuned. An exceptional car buying experience is closer than you think. Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear has the best prices, service, and selection. Why go anywhere else? At Mike Birch, you don't have to haggle, and you'll get top dollar for your trade. Our finance team's ready to help, even when others can't. No matter where you are, buying a new car has never been easier than at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear and at MikeBirchFord.com. Right on the corner, right on the price. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. Jessup Premium Storage, 1455 South First Street is Jessup's best place to store your valuables. Whether it's furniture between moves or just a place for the overload, call Jessup Premium Storage at 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage units are indoors, climate controlled, and they have 24-hour surveillance and on-site management. You have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week access to your unit. Sizes range from 5x5 five five to 10x25. They also have outside covered and uncovered spaces available for vehicles, boats, trailers, and RVs. Jessup Premium Storage on the Waycross Highway in Jessup. All right, 19 minutes after 8 o'clock, Big Dog Extra Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. Butch Hubbard here we're with you, along with Bob Morgan here on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. And, Bob, we got more guests. Who's our next guest here? All right, yeah, at the hospital in here, they got the giveaways. So they're going to give away. They've been raffling off tickets. Jill Blizzard's in here with our cohort. First-time guest. You want to introduce your first-time guest? Yay. Go ahead. She's nervous. She'll go ahead and do a great her. job. Well, thank you for having us. I know. Um, uh, you always are so gracious to let us know. Who's your guest? About today. once a month, uh, Miss Linda Faye Smith. Linda Faye Smith. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. Both of you ladies looking great this morning, you know? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, we dress special just dress for y'all. We do appreciate that. Um, and we're modeling, actually, some of the uh, giveaways um, that you got Harris the Coastal Ace DeMar um, cap on there yes. from Harris Ace Hardware. And you've got Coastal DeMar also. All right. Yes. All right, go ahead. Um, we want to give a, a special thank you to Tim Harris and Harris Ace Hardware. Uh, for and Colby. And Colby. <laughs> um, when we approached them with this idea of a, a different type of fundraiser for Relay for Life uh, that happens in the spring, we were looking for maybe one Yeti-type donation, like mm -hmm. a cup. Right. And uh, they donated everything, and we could not bring everything into your studio well, you this morning. We could not, oh, but there were goodness. 11 prizes, and um, so we're thrilled to be able to announce who the winners are today. We're actually going to draw. Draw here live today. on the air. Live, and we're going to do uh, Facebook Live. Facebook on the Live? Hospital, uh, web, uh, hospital Facebook page. Now, how so, are you doing that? The magic you got your of phone. the mobile. Now, we do have our little camera right up there. So yes. if you go to BigDogCountry.com and click on the Butch and Bob Show, you can watch the Butch and Bob Show live. And then also you're going to have it on the Facebook page for the hospital live. Yes, we, okay. are going, we are going to attempt to do that. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Hold the phone yourself or what? Yes, and I think... Okay. Um, and while we're getting everything ready, um, okay. I want to share with everybody, we sold 152 tickets at $10 a piece. Okay. So we raised $1,520 for the Wayne County Relay for Life. 
Um, and you it say we, that's Way Memorial Hospital. Way Memorial Hospital. Okay. And of course, with the partnership with Harris Ace Hardware. Uh, but the interesting thing about that is that it's Wayne County money and it goes to help Wayne County people, okay. even though you're working with a big national organization like the American Cancer Society. All right. So. So. We yeah. got all these uh, items that have been donated by Harris Ace Hardware. You've sold the tickets. You've raised the money for Relay for Life uh, from Wayne Memorial Hospital. And now you're going to have the drawing for all these gifts that were donated. And we're going to do it live on the air right here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup. We are. So how are you going to do this? I mean, where do you got tickets in an envelope? We have where do you have tickets them? in an envelope. In an envelope. And uh, Miss Linda Faysmith is going to shake up that envelope really, really well and let y'all draw. Now, Linda, are you involved with the hospital? Yes, I work at the hospital right at the front desk as you walk in the door. Okay, now what we want you to do there is to hold the envelope straight up in the air like that, all right, and put it just a little bit above you, reach down there with your hand. I'm gonna let Bob draw the first. No, don't yeah. let him draw. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, we're just running around real good. There, Bob's going to draw. You can see it on the camera, uh, both on BigDogCountry.com and on the hospital's Facebook page. And this, is this is which gift is this for? What do they win? What do they win on this gift? We didn't say which gift it's going to okay. be. Okay, prize one is a Harris Ace Hardware hat. A Harris Ace Hardware hat. So it looks a lot like this one. Well, yeah. And Bob, who's our winner? Jeremy Tyre. Jeremy Tyre just won himself a free Harris Ace Hardware cap. Now, you're going to... Okay. Is that all? Yeah, yeah, keep it tagged on there so you know who the winner is. We're going to tape this down. Okay. okay. And then we're going to move on to prize two. And why is prize Which is, two? Um, this is actually prize two. This is the Harris Ace Hardware hat. We have several, several okay. hats to get to. All right, now this is for the second gift, and this is for what? Harris Ace, Harris Ace Hardware hat. Okay, another cap. And Bob's reaching down into the um, envelope there. And Bob, who's our second winner? Cindy Coleman. Cindy, Cindy Coleman, Coleman just won Coleman. herself a cap from Harris Ace Hardware. It's this fundraiser for Wayne Memorial Hospital for Relay for Life. And so that's our second winner. And we've got many more drawings to go here. And what's the next gift? Prize number three is a Costa Del Mar hat. A Costa Del Mar cap. And uh, Bob, who is our winner? Marie O'Connor. Marie O'Connor. Wonderful. All right, so Marie just wins that cap, a Costa Mar cap. And we're moving on to our next one. And um, what are we drawing for now? It's another Costa Del Mar hat. We have, we have lots of Costa hats. Okay, and what is next, Bob? Dr. McIntyre. Dr. McIntyre just won himself a Coastal Lamar cap. Compliments of Harris Ace Hardware. And what's the next gift we're going to do here? Jill, Jill's trying to get everything organized over there and take the winners to the prizes. Another Coastal Coast, Another Coastal Lamar cap. All right, Bob? Angela Wilson. All right, congratulations to Angela Wilson for winning that cap. And uh, we got many more drawings to go here in this fundraiser by Wayne Memorial Hospital, Free Relay for Life. And Bob is reaching back down to the envelope to pull out for the next gift, and that's going to be what, Jill? Another Costa Del Mar hat. <laughs> okay, another Costa Del Mar cap. Surprise number two. Bob? Lisa Santiago. Lisa Santiago. All right. I'm impressed Bob's able to read these. I don't know if they're handwritten or typed or whatever. Are they typed or handwritten? Handwritten. Handwritten, okay. All right, what Five, next gift do we have? Seven is another Costa Del Mar hat. Okay, Bob? Garrett Pye. Garrett Pye. Garrett Pye. Pie. Pie. Okay, just won himself a cap. Five, eight is another Costa Del Mar hat. Okay, all right, Bob, who wins a cap? I think it's actually the one Linda's wearing. Oh, is it? The exact okay. Same one. All right. Yes, sir. Cheryl Westbury. Cheryl All right, Westbury. Cheryl, congratulations on winning that cap from Harris Ace Hardware. Now we have prize number right. nine, okay. which is the 18-ounce Yeti Rambler bottle. Okay. The, well, she's holding up in her hand right here a Yeti bottle from Harris Ace Hardware. What? And who is our winner there? Who's our winner? Uh, 
here's some. I know the first one. I think it's Becky Mixon. Is it Becky Mixon? Is it Becky Mixon? Becky Mixon. All right, Becky. Uh, Becky Mixon just won the uh, the, the the Yeti uh, Rambler bottle. Bottle. Okay. Yes. And, and then here's the big 30 ounce Yeti cup. Okay, 30 ounce with the Yeti lid. Cup. All right. And that's a value of 34.99. Okay, Bob, who's gonna win that Yeti cup? Going deep. Going deep. Okay. Laura Tyre. Laura Tyre. Well, congratulations okay. to Laura Tyre. And now is the grand prize. The grand prize. The 45 quart Yeti cooler. It's Four, white. Five, 45 quarts. Man. It's word. huge. Valued at three forty nine. 99. So, right at 350 bucks here. Compliments of Harris Ace Hardware. Bob, who are you going to make real happy? Make somebody happy. Make, make somebody Christmas. real happy. He's reaching deep Merry and he pulls it out. And who's it going to be, Bob? Joe Davis. Joe oh, Davis! Davis. <laughs> he works at the hospital. Yay! Yeah, great guy. Oh. Joe. Joe Davis. Joe, you owe Bob. <laughs> oh, he's going to love that. On the All right, Joe Davis trip. wins that big, you said 45 oh, yeah. quart? 45 quart. Quart White Yeti. Yeti Tundra Cooler. Okay. Something so. that holds ice for days. Find good use for it. I bet he will. He will. I bet he will. Good guy. And we also have items. Hard work you made in the hospital, isn't he? Very he hard work. He does a lot the hospital. Okay. Yes. Uh, we also have uh, meal passes for each of your staff, right. and also two uh, meal passes to be given away to your listeners. Okay. Um, to our award-winning cafe at Wayne Memorial. Okay. And so we'll give these away just a little bit later on. Wonderful. Okay. I've got another turkey to give away this morning from Piggly Wiggly, and uh, we'll do that in a little while. Okay. Uh, but we got these giveaways. We have some, some for the staff, some giveaways for, for free meals at uh, the cafe there at Wayne Memorial Hospital. We'll give away those also. Yes, and a couple of quick things before sure, we, we go. Sure, um, uh, one minute. minute. I, I can do it. Um, I just want to remind folks that we have another lobby sale happening now. This is a really, really good one, and it's a great opportunity to start that holiday shopping or finish it, depending on how you how you are. Uh, we have a $6 costume jewelry event going on now. They have a special. It's five pieces for $20, so that could be a scarf. It could be earrings. It could be a necklace. You just five different pieces oh, okay. for $20. Mm -hmm. um, also, they have the the higher end sterling silver available, and they brought an engraving machine. Okay. So you can get something engraved while you wait, uh, personalized gift. So your price ranges are anywhere from three or four dollars to all the way up to maybe seventy five or a hundred, depending on what you get. Okay. So the hours are. Uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. Of course, they're already open today, so they'll close at 5, and then they're open tomorrow, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And that's in the lobby there at Waymore Hospital in South First Street in Jessup. Yes, and okay. uh, go ahead and mark your calendars if you're well, a regular buy like um, We have our next blood drive Wednesday, November 29th, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the blood mobile, just parked right outside the cafe at Way Memorial. And once again, that date is? Wednesday, November 29th. Okay. Folks can register online at redcrossblood.org, and they can make the appointment using the sponsor code WMH. And that's all we have. Thank you again very much for having us. Thank you. Okay, they wanted to repeat the information once again on the 5K run on the uh, Christmas parade. That's not part of y'all. That was someone else. I'll do that in just a few minutes. All right, thanks for coming in, ladies. A great drawing this morning. Congratulations on the money that you raised for Relay for Life. Uh, thanks to Harris Ace Hardware providing all these items for y'all to be able to give away. And we look forward to having you back on again soon, Jill, with more news from Wayne Memorial Hospital. Thank you. Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. All right, take care.